column details and they consistently show 20 bars. We recommend raising an RFI or request for information to verify and document this officially. So always double check both bar size and quantity before casting to ensure compliance with structural requirements. Next, we check the spacing of the links. As per the approved drawing, the spacing is 160 mm near the top and bottom, close to the slab so fit level or the SSL, and transitions to 200 mm at the mid span of the column. This because it helps resist higher shear and confinement forces, while wider spacing at mid span is sufficient due to lower stress in that area. Please take note also that it is acceptable if the spacing for the links are much lower than in the approved drawing but please do verify if it still met the minimum spacing as per the design. We also verify the type of lateral ties used whether they are single or with cross ties as shown in the drawing. We need to make sure proper hocking is done on the surface of the structural slab level to ensure a good bond between the old concrete and the new column or shear wall. This roughens the surface and improves the mechanical connection of the joint. No hocking, no bonding, and that can lead to future structural issues. Next is applying a releasing agent or sometimes the grease oil to the inner face of the formwork or shuttering. This prevents the concrete from sticking to the plywood or firmware, making removal easier and helps avoid damage to the surface of the newly cast column. So finally, there are just a few minor issues that I have observed in this uh, checking of reinforcement. Some, li some links are slightly swayed or misaligned as you can see in the drawing and I have already instructed the foreman to realign them properly and clean the reinforcement before closing the formwork. So that's all on how I check the reinforcement of our columns in our project. Lastly, before closing the column formwork, we need to check for MEP clearance. This is very important because missing MEP clearances often lead to drilling or cutting through hardened concrete which can weaken the column and compromise the structural stability of the column. Ensuring this proper clearance before casting helps avoid future issues and keeps the structure safe and clean. So that is all you need to consider before closing the formwork or shattering of a columns on site. If you found this helpful and want more videos about construction, QA, QC, and site inspections, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one, engineers.